All right, well, I'm looking at another periodal today. I haven't done this for a while. So this is the game where you're, it's just like Wordle, but you're guessing words that are made up of the abbreviations for elements on the periodic table. Uh, I like to do single letter elements to start with. And um, I came up with a two word, 10 letter start that I think will be good. Spiky and bunch. So, ooh, very interesting. Okay, let's do bunch. Now, these are orange and yellow. Now, they might not actually be orange and yellow because I have high contrast mode turned on since I'm colorblind, but these are the equivalents of orange and yellow. So the yellow means that element is in the answer in a different spot. The orange means that letter is in the answer, but not that element. So the B, the I, and the H have to be in there in, in part of another element like um, IR or PB, plum bum would work. Um, let's see, so interesting, we've got, so we could do like HE, we could do, hmm, and the I could be in a lot of places, you know, we've got uh, T I S I I R uh, L I. So there's quite a few ways we can use the I, the H, could be H E, it could be H O, T H, H F. H F seems unlikely, but it is possible, I suppose. H G, again, not super likely, but possible. And the B could be B R. B R would be good. B I. S B is not very likely. BH, not very likely. DB, not very likely. RB, maybe. BA would be good. So, I mean, we could do BI, uh, as in that element that I can't think of the name of right now. Because we do have a B and an I. But I'm not sure what to do. So S and P have to be in there. H needs to be in there somewhere. I mean, we could also do some something in the middle with like S and then H E, and it could be like you know S H. It's possible. Yeah. Now, interestingly, I mean, we could do um, lead, right? Plum bum. Uh, but then we'd still have to have another P somewhere. So we'd have to have two P's in the word then. What if we started with like P H? You know, P H E. Or, or P-H-O, uh, but like H-O. Phobia, uh, is that gonna work? Pho, oh, but it's gotta be, it could be B-I. Oh, there's no, ugh. Oh wait, does that work? No, it doesn't, that doesn't work because we have to do H-O together. Oh, I thought I had something there. That was that was going to be really good. Except it doesn't work. Yeah, I don't think PH works at the beginning. And the B is the tricky one because, I mean, the most likely spot for a B is at the beginning. I mean, we, we could do BI at the beginning. But what would we do with that? It's not gonna have the H next. What about, ooh, S, S, A, uh, Bish, Bish, Bishop? Bishop doesn't work. Bishops. Does that work? If there's two S's, that works. Well, I mean, we do know there's an S, so I mean, at least we're checking two new spots for the S, and I think BI is a reasonable thing to try with the B and the I. I don't know, let's go for it. Oh, it's bishops! Woo! All right, well. Oh man, that was the only word I could even think of that would work. So let me know what other word would have worked with that start. Um, oh, there was a lot of thinking time that got cut out of this video. Um, <laughs> where I was just sitting here and staring and thinking <laughs> and working through things in my head, but wow, got it in three. All right, very cool. So 
Let me know what words you like to start with on periodal, um, and what other words could have worked after that start. And how you did today, how many guesses it took you, and if you thought this one was difficult, I thought it was kind of difficult actually, but... And of course, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. We'll pick a random available seat. Why? Who knows? That's just the kind of thing hypothetical passengers do. Um, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Wow! No way! <laughs> yeah, I mean, either a part or short could be right, or neither of them could be right. Who knows? I mean, 20 times 11 is 220. Then we would need to add 53. 40 plus 13 is 53. There we go. 11 times 20, 220. 